friends the topic of today's podcast is budget 2019 we already had an interim budget which is quite exhaustive presented before the elections so in a sense the budget to be presented next week has a very strong sense of deja vu the government has already messaged us on its intent broadly we should be looking for pointers on fiscal discipline investment growth and a plan for cleaning up the banking system on fiscal discipline it would be very difficult for the government to do much beyond what they have already promised on growth the government has to do a lot more messaging has to improve we need to raise domestic business confidence this has to be done across the spectrum right from the tiny and micro enterprise to the large conglomerates business confidence requires to be improved quickly and drastically so in that sense this budget requires very strong messaging the government has to give a clear main hu na type of message how can it do that it can do that by promising more investments from government by welcoming more investments from the indian corporations we need a strong message on privatization we also need a very strong message towards the global investment community i believe that a significant part of our investment needs are going to be met by private equity and by large global corporations who want to be a part of the india growth story for example i think that the major participants in the 5g story are going to be new global players they would have to either partner with existing indian players or come in on their own these are real big ticket investment opportunities so we need to really get our messaging right and deliver the message at a level which gives comfort to very very large investors essentially the coming two years are for our economy almost a phase of rebirth you can call it the second liberalization in 1991 several large indian business groups were simply elected to participate in the post liberalization growth story today you find most of these groups are virtually reduced to real estate entities today i believe that the same state is prevailing for several indian business groups so where will we find the money for our growth it has to come from outside and from newer players who are ready to take advantage of the opportunity on hand this budget is about telling those people you are welcome be bold be brave take risks you can find capital and opportunity in india and this is too good an opportunity to miss that messaging is what this budget speech should achieve outside of that it has to communicate continued commitment to fiscal discipline investment raising of capital through disinvestment for 
fresh investment in infrastructure and a continued formalization of the economy and financialization of our people. These are things that are needing the urgent attention and I'm sure that the messaging will be aimed at these areas. So in that sense, this budget is not going to surprise us too much either on the positive side or on the negative side. To me, it is business as usual and that would be the message that the finance minister will deliver. So as an investor, I think we should also follow the same approach and see it as business as usual. Thank you.